Okay, so today's question we have are what are NK or natural killer cells and why do they matter for my fertility? Hey there, welcome to Ask the Fertility Experts, a daily Q&A show where we'll be answering your fertility questions. I'm Sarah Clark, founder of Fab Fertile. We specialize in low AMH, high FSH, diminished ovarian reserve, and premature ovarian insufficiency or failure. I will be joined by Dr. Tabitha Barber. She is triple board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, menopause, and functional medicine. If you have a question, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, leave me a DM and drop your question there. And we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram. Take care. Okay. So today's question we have are what are NK or natural killer cells and why do they matter for my fertility? We see this a lot where actually people coming in kind of like, oh, wait a minute, this, you know, these, these NK cells are elevated. Um, they may be, you know, prescribed medication for them. And many people may not really even know, you know, obviously from a diet and lifestyle perspective, uh, there can be a lot of things that we can do to, um, to improve, improve this, but what's, what's your take on it, uh, Dr. Tabitha? So natural killer cells are part of our innate immune system. We have different types of our immune process. You know, the type we're born with that reacts immediately to something such as a virus getting into our system or a bacteria, that is in our, that's our innate response. So we have to have many things, you know, in working order, like we have to have a good physical barrier. That's where leaky gut becomes an issue. Like think of your skin being broken that first line defense mechanism, that skin is broken and open, um, infection can get in there, bacteria can get in there. So natural killer cells are lymphocytes, which are part of our white blood cell process to really attack at any first infection or viral infection in particular with natural killer cells. So there's been a lot of research and studying done on natural killer cells as to could the immune system activation play a role in infertility? We know very well that viral infections cause um, miscarriage, specifically um, CMV, herpes, Epstein-Barr, these viruses can interfere and cause issues. So they started studying natural killer cells. There's a study with mice that shows that an overexpression of natural killer cells ended in miscarriage in these mice. And so what they're understanding now is when you grow the endometrial lining and the embryo implants, and it's starting to develop that placenta, there has to be this perfect balance of your immune system, getting rid of any bad unwanted cells. So NK cells or natural killer cells, they survey the area constantly. And if there's cells infected with viruses or tumor type cells, they kill them. That's why they're called killer cells. And so they're constantly surveying the land. And if you do have, you know, cells filled with a virus they're going to react, they're going to respond, and they're going to start attacking. And oftentimes, you know, what we're seeing is um, first trimester miscarriages that don't really have an explanation. And now we're seeing with the vaccination, women's cycles being messed up. And what we're finally understanding is there's an overactive immune response in the endometrial lining and things like natural killer cells are wiping out those endometrial cells because they are infected with a virus. And so I wish there was studies on humans at this point, but there's not. So there's a lot of theorizing going on. There's a lot of jumping to conclusions and that's how we advance in science. That's great. But I don't want women to think that this is any standard of care that we check NK cells and have a specific treatment protocol. We're just not there yet. So I'm glad it's on the horizon and that there's scientists and physicians cowboying this effort, you know, to figure this out. What we do know is if your NK cells are really elevated, that's telling me like your body 
is infected with a virus or bacteria, mostly a virus, that we need to kill off. And there's other ways to do that. So at this point, in my mind, it's just kind of a red flag to, you know, look into things and start taking care of possible viral infections. But don't go asking for these tests. They don't exist yet. <laughs> Not in any standard way. And so from an uh, anecdotal evidence or what we're seeing, even um, transitioning to an AIP diet, so an autoimmune protocol diet can be helpful because that whole part of that, that protocol or diet can help to reduce inflammation. So some people have, have uh, noticed, you know, improvement when, if they're, if they're measuring that um, with being able to, you know, trying, trying for years and years. And then that kind of was a thing that shifted the needle, but a lot of it is looking at, you know, full diet and lifestyle too changes, not, not just, you know, the AIP diet, there's like addressing infections and, and other things. Yeah. And another study I came across showed that you can have a deficiency in natural killer cells, which you don't want. You want to have a nice number of those to be able to do their job in obesity. So that is another way that your infertility or your fertility is being affected by carrying excess weight. So I would just really encourage women like focus on getting rid of that extra weight, decreasing your inflammation and supporting your innate immune system. Thanks so much for being here. If you've got a question that you want answered, simply go to fab fertile Inc on Instagram, send me a DM and we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's fab fertile Inc and send me a DM and please refer to our disclaimer below. Take care.